Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 279. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 276 to 284. Hey, in 279, we want to see if we can create a series of letters like A, 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 B, A, C without typing them in. We're going to use a formula, create one formula, and copy it and send it down. Now, the, the whole trick to this is to notice that there is already AAs and ABs in Excel. If we scroll over, uh, we have our letters. But at the top, eventually, there's, we run out of uh, letters. And so then we have to start doing this. So there's a way in Excel to figure out and get the AA, AB. So that's how we'll uh, build our formula. Now, the base of this form is going to be the address function. Let's see how the address function works. You give it a row number, a column number, and it will give us the address. If I type 1, 1, which means row and column, it'll give us A1. Now, we don't want those two dollar signs. So the fourth argument here, there's four types of cell references. for there's, So there's four numbers. If we type a 4, it'll give us a relative cell reference. Now, what we need to do is put a, the right row number and column number. So we'll just use the row function here. And we'll type in AA1. A row of AA1, this will give us 1. And then here, for this next second argument, we need column. So we'll do column of AA1. And column of AA1, if we highlight this and hit the F9 key for evaluate, we'll see that, oh yeah, that's 27. 26 letters plus 1. That'll give us 27. Control Z, because I hit F9. Now, we can try this formula right here. Uh, double click and send it down. Oh, but that, that's not what we want. The AA part of it is not incrementing um, for, to AB and then AC. So let's hit F2. And really, what's happening is the column, if we look here, the column is still in AA2. So it's still giving us that 27. So we need to at increment higher by 1 as we copy the column part down, because the row part will stay the same. So I'm going to put around the column per right here, we're going to subtract in parentheses rows. And we're in cell C13, C12. So I'm going to put C dollar sign 12 colon C12. And then I'm going to subtract 1. Now, what does the rows do? This will tell us how many rows there are from 12 to 12. That means 1. This cell reference is locked. This is not. So as we copy it down, this will be locked. This won't. So when we get to the next cell, this will be 13. This will be 12. Rows will say how many rows are there? 2. Subtract 1. And why do we have to subtract 1? Because the columns in the first place, and we actually have to uh, add this, the columns is giving us uh, that column for AA each time. But this will give us the first one is correct, so we need a 0 to start off. So 1 plus minus 1 will give us a 0. But when we get to the next one, it will be 2 minus 1 is 1, which is exactly what we want to add for the second one. Now, Control Enter, and then I'm going to double click and send it down. Now we got the AA and the AB. We just need to get rid of the numbers. So I'm going to hit F2. And I'm going to use the left function. The left function allows us to take this text string here whoop, and tell it how many characters from the left we want. Well, we always want comma 2. And I controlled Enter because I had them all highlighted. If I wanted to, I could control Enter and then double click and send it down also. And so there we go. Now, in this version, um, I have this file state as .xls. So I'm going to get past IV, which is how many columns there were, 256 in the 2003. When I get past IV right about there, it stops. But if you uh, save this as in, in 2007, XLS, X or XLSM, it'll work perfectly. But at least it gives us all the way to IV with that formula. So yeah, that formula, if you want to go all the way to ZZ, is a 2007 formula. All right, we'll see you next trick.